people, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to go through how I plan for the semester. We have a lot of screens here so and lights, so that's why you'll probably see the reflection in the glasses. Anyway, I do not feel very well. Um, don't don't worry, it's a psychological um, sickness. It's not a physical sickness. I'm not actually sick. Um, but before we dive in to planning for the semester, one thing I do is I pay for the semester. And yes, I don't pay like outright, okay? I'm not crazy. But anytime I pay a large amount of money and school is ridiculously expensive, like I feel very, um, nauseous so i currently feel very nauseous and like and i went to work today so i'm a little like stuffed up because i was covered up um and so that doesn't really help my nausea anyway uh, i wanted to share that because like that's part of the process I, you have to pay for class before you can have access to the class so anyway this um so how my curriculum works i'm getting an mba with a certification in finance from university of miami if anyone was curious i'm taking classes online um i would love to live in coral gables that's where the campus is uh however um i live here in a house near a city with lots of universities and hospitals and you know it's pretty nice i don't know I feel like I love Florida dearly, but I don't know, it would be a little weird like around Christmas time not being like all bundled up, I guess. As much as I hate the cold weather, um, I don't really know life without it. So let's dive in. Um, I'm taking uh, accounting. This is how it works for my curriculum. I take accounting for seven weeks and then I have a one week break, which is usually like the end of February, beginning of March. And then um, after that one week break, I take my next course and the next course for me is um, management, operational research models. And it's a management course. Um, so, and, and you know how they always have like funky terms for these classes. So, um, so this first class is accounting and the second class, even though it says it's research models, it's actually statistics. I'm good at math. It's just that like, can I balance this while working? That's gonna be the main struggle. And you know, I've gotten this far working and going to school, but to be totally honest with you, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to keep it up because I'm starting to flip as it is. So I logged into my classes and this is what I tend to do. I don't buy anything fancy. I don't have any money, okay? Um, so, I know a lot of people buy planners and stuff like that. Uh, no, <laughs> no thank you. First of all, what I like when schedules look like this, like when there's time blocks and then you have the days of the week. Um, and that this like really keeps me track of like assignments, especially if there's like a project due, then I can track like, oh, I'll start the project next week. And then, you know, oh, it's not due until two weeks after that. And that's kind of what I do. I usually try to do assignments. I try to do assignments two weeks before they're due. Um, when your class is seven weeks long, sometimes that can be kind of difficult to get that far ahead. Um, but this is what I use for the most part to put my classes on. And as you can see, it's from um, General Blue. It's just like a PDF. I just downloaded it, like no big deal. And then I have, of course, a to-do list. This is what I use daily um, for school when I have to, I'll write out like the week's worth of assignments on here and then I'll like check it off. Whereas this one, I put down which hours I'm going to do which assignment because we don't have that many hours in the day. Then sometimes I use like a different type of sheet for work. Um, but like, that's not really pertinent to this. And then I have a big calendar here on the side that also like isn't really pertinent to what we're doing today. Um, I just really use um, these two sheets and uh, Google Calendar. I put everything in Google Calendar. So that's why like I put assignments in there too, but like I need a hard copy because like I also put like doctor's appointments and sometimes I'll put like check on investments, you know, go to the bed, get an oil change. And I, 
I tend to, I also put like laundry and cooking and I hate laundry and I hate cooking. So whenever they pop up on Google Calendar, I will ignore it. So that's why I put school in Google Calendar and on here. So that way I don't ignore it. So what we're going to do here, and this is what I do. So I print out these sheets um, because I'm not paying for no planner. And then <laughs> I staple them together kind of like this. So like we have like the to-do list on top and then I'll put the week after that and then I'll staple it like that way. So it makes a little book. I'm not, I'm not paying, but you know, like at school they used to give us planners for free. And I'm sure if I was on campus at University of Miami, they would give me a free planner, but I'm not on campus and I'm not spending like, because it's sometimes hard to get a planner that kind of looks like the way you want it to look, especially when you're like me. Um, so I don't know. I remember Staples, they used to have these really expensive planners and like, I'm not about that life. Next thing I wanted to talk about. Okay, so there you go. So this is my little book and I will staple it. Yay, that's my planner. And I guess you could get real fancy and put the big calendar in the front, but like, I don't really use that. Like I, like I use it as a reference, but like if I write anything on there, I usually don't pay attention to it. So we got that situated because that's most important. And then the second most important thing is the pens. I feel like a lot of girls are very like colored pens. Um, I've never dated a guy that was into colored pens, but I could be wrong. There could be guys out there that are into colored pens. And let me tell you, I see so many people like organize their planners with colored colored pens. I always see like medical students do this. Like and they buy like, I don't know, these like ridiculous pens, like a $26 pack of pens. And I'm like, you're so, how are you in medical school? You're so stupid. Like I got all of these different colors uh, from the dollar store. Okay. And not, it came in a bigger pack, <laughs> but I keep them uh, over by my desk and then I also have colored highlighters again like another item that you can get from the dollar store like I don't know why people and like these pens are pretty good I mean sure they wear out in a year but who really cares like plus like if you share an office or you live with other students like you're gonna lose your pens so like anyway <sighs> That's the story. I get my pens and my highlighters from the dollar store. I print these out, PDF. Uh, I have a printer, but if you don't have a printer, you could probably print it out at work. I didn't say that. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go through. Um, of course, we have my course syllabus. <laughs> This is, this is an introduction to accounting course. I don't know why I'm like freaked out about it. Like I've already taken, I've taken intermediate finance. I've already taken intermediate accounting. This is like just introduction to managerial accounting. And I don't know why I'm like so paranoid about it, but like I really shouldn't be. I have the skill set. Like they, I, I mean, I've met the prerequisites, but for some reason I'm still freaked. Okay. <laughs> So it's four credits. That's another thing too, is some, most of my classes are four credit classes, not three. Um, okay. And then they have the course outcomes that, that goes in a whole different, like that goes with the notes, um, the course outcomes. And I have to buy the textbook. Jeez. <sighs> ah, I hate buying, like I already spent enough money. <laughs> okay. So, oh my gosh, I hate the way this is organized. So we have uh, week one, introduction to accounting. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> introduction to accounting. Um, I have to watch a video and then submit a one paper, a reflection paper. I'm, I'm finance, I don't write. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is like, because um, it's a video, I'll take my blue pen and then I'm gonna write like, because this is for week one, so I'll just put like on the to-do list for week one that I'll put down here, like watch video. And then also to like, I'll put watch video, um, you know, I'll do a different color for like read in the textbook, you know, uh, go through PowerPoint, that will be another color, but 
I don't know, it doesn't say anything like that here. <laughs> so then the next one it has is um, write a reflection paper. I've gotten better at writing. I'm a math and science type of person and I've gotten better at writing um, because I had to do it so often for my bachelor's degree, but it's not, I'm not naturally talented at it. So next one I would be, um, would be write paper. And then it says here, oh yeah, read chapters one through three. And do assignments. So let's see, maybe we'll pick purple. So watch video, write paper, that's like together. And then we have um, read, and then I'll put chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. So like break it down. And then um, assignments. I'm not going to write assignments down. Like, I'm actually going to look at what they are. But then, uh, this is the worst part, is the quiz. Oh, yeah, I got this pen. Because, I don't know, I always run out of green. We have to do the quiz. And I think there's, like, discussion questions and all that fun stuff. But, like, let's dive in a little more to the course. Because somebody, whoever wrote this syllabus, like, didn't even add anything week one assignments oh here okay chapter one account uh, chapter one chapter one assignment chapter one quiz okay that's not really specific but whatever this is the class preview by the way so like you don't really have access to or i don't have access to it until like a couple days from now but I'm like I said I'm paranoid about this class okay so then I'm gonna do um assignment I'll just put like assignment week one all right so then there you go it so, really doesn't seem like that much maybe no they don't do syllabus week in grad school I'm like maybe it's because it's syllabus week no they don't do that in grad school um okay so then now we have the week here obviously i would start on sunday because like i work so um the easiest thing what i like to do on sundays for these types of courses because like okay when it comes to biology this is what happens with me like sciences there's so much information, but the information isn't necessarily difficult to grasp. Whereas finance, math, accounting, economics, that there's not that much information, but the information is very difficult to grasp, for me at least. So what I do is I will read the chapters initially and take notes because that's the information that's going to take the longest to grasp. And then on Sunday, you know, I have the full day I think let's be real I'm probably not going to start my homework till three okay <laughs> so we're going to do um like read chapter one and then like chapter two would be another hour chapter three would be another hour and then um of course take notes and all that stuff kind of goes in with the read and then we're gonna have um we'll do assignment one at seven because we need to factor in a dinner break here because if I don't eat dinner then I end up getting I end up either forgetting and getting crabby two things so put dinner at six and then assignment one um and that's probably gonna take us till the end of the night take me till the end of the night because who knows how long it's all it's gonna take and then Monday, I'm working, I think like 8.30, but I'm just going to put this for 9, 9 to 5. Fingers crossed I get out at 5. <laughs> then we have dinner at 6. And then um, watch video or finish. I should finish assignment 1. And then watch video. And then I would start paper. Oh, 
Okay, so this is kind of like, uh, I would repeat these steps, obviously. Um, and obviously, like, when I do this, it's like kind of, I, I sort of block out more time that's needed. Like, for example, like, I put, oh, 3 o'clock, I'm going to start my homework. I, I don't know. I might start it at 12, I might start it at 9 a.m., <laughs> but a uh, worst case scenario is I'll start it at 3. And then same with Monday. Like, worst case scenario, I'll start my homework at 7 p.m., but I might end up starting it at 5 if I get out of work early. I might be able to do homework before work. But, like, that's kind of how I do it. So then this way, like, it doesn't get backed up because some, there's been times, like, for example, read chapter 1. It's not going to take me an hour to read chapter 1, but what if for some reason it does? And then, like, oh, no, now I'm, now I'm like, late, you know, for reading chapter 2, and then I'm late for reading chapter three and then it makes me a um, more paranoid so like that's kind of how I do it um when I work honestly like I would I strive to do five hours of school work a day like during the week um but usually it ends up being like between one and three four if it's a good day so that's why I do majority of things on the weekends and on Fridays because I try to get out of work early on Fridays so um but yeah but that's what I do and then after I go through the whole week and then I'll put the stuff in my Google Calendar and I'm not very specific when I put it in the Google Calendar I'll just do like uh finish assignment one you know, watch video, actually kind of like this, <laughs> you know, um, but um, probably less specific, like read, read chapters one through three, I'll just put like read, and then block it out from like three to five, you know, something like that. So that's how I do it. Um, and this is how I keep track of everything. And yeah, and like, there are some days, we'll just end on this note that like, there are some days when I can't do everything. Like, uh, for example, Tuesdays, I work pretty late. So, um, so sometimes Tuesdays, like, I won't do any homework once I get home because by the time I get home, it's like eight o'clock and then I didn't eat dinner. Um, and then, as you can see on Monday, for example, like, you kind of have to choose. I, I didn't put exercise here, right? And, like, I could potentially exercise in the morning, but, like, but then I could also do my assignment in the morning. It really depends on, like, when it's due. And, um, now, so that's, like, another thing, too, is, like, exercising <laughs> gets pushed by the wayside, um, sometimes there's like one day a week when I don't do schoolwork, um, because I worked late. So like, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot of give and take. Um, and I mean, that's just what, that's just what happens. I'm um, going to school, getting your master's. It's only for a short period of time. I know it doesn't seem like that, but like it really is. And, um, in your, in the whole, in your whole life, it's just a short period of time. So like waking up early, staying up late, like crunching and like not exercising or skipping meals, like all that kind of stuff. Like it's bad habits for sure, but like, it's not like you're not going to be working and going to school forever. I mean, even me, like I'm working and going to school now because I can with this master's program. But like, if I continue my education, uh, at a higher level, then I probably won't be working. So like I said, it's just, it's just temporary, <laughs> but it does, it does bother me a lot. I, I much rather go to, I love my job, but I much rather go to school much rather because like, it's just like, it's just way too hard. <laughs> like it would just be so nice to like do eight hours of homework, you know, and then come home and like actually watch TV and actually go to the gym and, but whatever. So yeah, that's the story. I feel like there was something else I wanted to share. And now I forgot. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, I'm going to continue with this. I'm not going to do it with you guys because it probably is going to be a little boring. Um, and yeah, that's the story, friends. So I, I wish you all the best of luck in the new year with your new semester, um, however it is. And, oh, I remember what I wanted to say. <laughs> um, it was about due dates. Um, for us in this class 
everything is due um, Saturday. So like for me, uh, like starting the paper on Monday, I just have to, I probably would finish it by like Tuesday night, Wednesday, and then it's due Saturday. So like that's, well, that's how it works with this. Um, but I know that some classes, it could be a little bit more difficult. So I like to do like, if I can, a week, two weeks before the assignments due. If I, if I was taking a regular 14 week course, that's what I would do two weeks before the assignment is due. Since this is a seven week course, I try to do it at least five days before the assignments due. Um, and that, again, that's like not gonna happen this week considering the class doesn't open up until Sunday. So anyway, that's the story. Yet again, I wish you the best of luck and I'll talk to you guys later, bye!